In this tutorial, we will see how to design Proteus simulation of buck converter. Buck converter is a power electronics converter, which is used to step down DC voltage. In other words, it produces low level DC voltage, from high level DC voltage. This is a circuit diagram of a buck converter. Inductor is mainly responsible to provide continuous current to the load, and a capacitor provides smooth output voltage. As you can see, the main components of buck converter are a capacitor, inductor, a diode and a switching device. Now let's see how buck converter works. The working of a buck converter can be broken down into a few steps. In step 1, the switch turns on, and lets current flow to the output capacitor, and charge the capacitor. Since the voltage across the capacitor, cannot rise instantly, and since the inductor limits the charging current, the voltage across the capacitor, during the switching cycle is not the full voltage of the power source. In step 2, the switch now turns off. Since the current in an inductor cannot change suddenly, the inductor creates a voltage across it. This voltage can charge the capacitor, and power the load through the diode. When the switch is turned off, capacitor is responsible for maintaining output current throughout the switching cycle. Switching device is usually a MOSFET. We provide PWM, digital signal to MOSFET to control output voltage. Practically, we provide switching signal through a microcontroller and a MOSFET driver. But for simulation purpose, we will use PWM signal generator of Proteus. If you don't know about PWM, check the link in the description of the video. This formula is used to calculate output voltage with respect to input voltage. DC equal VUT VIN where D is a duty cycle. For example, if we want to step down 12 volts into 5 volts output, we can calculate duty cycle of PWM using this formula by putting input voltage and output voltage value. Hence, by using these voltage values the duty cycle is 42%. But after including losses of the circuit, we will get exact 5 volts on the output with 55% duty cycle. Now place all components in Proteus window and make connection according to the circuit diagram. Now open PWM signal and make setting according to these values. First connect a digital DC voltmeter across the load resistor to check output voltage. Now click on simulation play button, as you can see, output voltage is about 5 volts. Now let's see output voltage, output current waveforms, using analog graphs. For that we need voltage probe and a current probe. From sidebar select probe mode, connect output voltage probe, and output current probe. Now add analog graph to check waveforms of output current and voltage. After that attach voltage and current probes to the analog graph. In order to check output voltage waveform, right click on graph and make starting and end time settings. Set low time limit because higher time will take higher time for the simulation to complete. After that simulate the graph. As you can see from the graph, Output voltage first shoots up, but after some time settles to 5 volts output. Not that, while designing buck converter practically, we can remove the starting output voltage fluctuations by using a PID controller. After that, follow the same procedure to see output current waveform. As you can see, output current is continuous. This is how we can simulate buck converter in Proteus.